It looks like Elon Musk with Tesla and all these Chinese electric vehicle makers are onto something worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armen Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And if you find this report informative, please give us thumbs up, like this video and share in social media. We would greatly appreciate it. I have a very interesting story by Howard Yu and Angelo Butalikakis published in Channel News Asia talking about Tesla and e Chinese electric vehicle makers being onto something worth hundreds of billions of dollars. They say electric vehicles are penetrating the automotive industry and killing it. Howard Yu and Angelo Butalikakis explain why investors have faith they will be the dominant car of the future. So they're reporting from Lausanne, Switzerland, saying it's tough to be in the auto industry. Competition can be insane when there is so much money to be made. Just look at the market value of the big boys. The world's most valuable car company, Tesla, has a US 650 billion valuation. It's uh, larger than JP Morgan, Chase, and Alibaba. Next is Toyota, worth about $240 billion. US dollars. That makes it roughly the size of Netflix and Coca-Cola. The third is Volkswagen at US $140 billion. That puts it somewhere between Hermes and Christian Dior. Now, what is interesting is the world's fourth most valuable car makers are the youngest and China-based BYD, a battery-turned-electric vehicle maker, which Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway invested in 13 years ago. Today, it's commanding an almost $100 billion valuation, following closely our Daimler, GM, and NIO hovering about $80 billion valuation. Last week, another Chinese electric vehicle maker, Xpeng, listed in Hong Kong. It's the company's second listing after the IPO on the New York Stock Exchange in August last year. Xpeng and BYD are just two of many emerging Chinese electric vehicle companies like NIO and Li Auto benefiting from a red-hot capital market. It's a market that disproportionately values, uh, uh, values newer entrants. Whether it's a pension fund or a foreign sovereign fund, these institutional investors already see car companies as having pretty positive, resilient, different growth prospects compared to other sectors. But is there something about these new electric vehicle makers that seem to attract investors that much more? What's so special about electric vehicles? After all, making one is not the, that hard these days. Every car company knows how how to make an electric vehicle. Remember Nissan Leaf? It was first introduced in 2010, more than a decade ago. Old electric vehicles like the Nissan Leaf are the classic victim of disruptive innovation, say Howard Yu and Angelo Butalikakis. They say Nissan's batteries in its early days were not exactly high performing. Drivers suffer range anxiety when the capacities were low and building an electric vehicle is more costly than putting together a traditional sedan using an internal combustion engine. That's why incumbents like Nissan always lack the motivation to scale disruptive innovation that um, the late Harvard professor Clayton Christensen would say doing so doesn't lead to profitable growth, at least in the near term. But there is a new development today that's changing the game of electric vehicles. The maturation of computing technologies is powerful. A new type of electric, actually they are powering a new type of electric vehicle. One that is more connected and smarter. I guess we can say they're more connected and smarter than Nissan Leaf. And electric vehicle, an EV in other words, is less of an electric device and more like a supercomputer on wheels. This is what is changing in electric vehicle or automotive industry and killing the today's automotive industry. Electric Electronic components will soon make up half the cost to produce a car. That should be little surprise um, when already close to 50% of 
cars recall car recalls by manufacturers are due to electronic failures not mechanical errors and yet traditional car makers won't find putting the new electric vehicles together any easier why even though electric, electrifying the drivetrain is easy, the new electronics and their interactions can be exceedingly complex. The system must give the driver the control of all the safety features together with the infotainment and navigation assistance. Sitting on top is a potential requirement for autonomous driving, which is still being developed but is improving by the day. This a fundamental architectural shift at the product level several car executives have separately told me this is a shift in how we conceptualize how a car should be built they say now how Elon Musk's architects Tesla and so quite aptly what Elon Musk has pursued as he scales Tesla is vertical integration now what does this mean that approach gives Tesla the full control of over all its parts. At Palo Alto headquarters, visitors can observe the myriad manufacturing activities that Tesla carries out in-house. Those are operations that uh, traditional car makers would have outsourced normally. In fact, after this virus that has been going on in our lives, we saw more and more uh, Tesla parts being produced inside the house or at least localized. The company seeks to master battery chemistry firsthand. Its gigafactories in Shanghai and Nevada are set to produce batteries at a volume unseen by the world. Solar City, a seemingly unrelated manufacturer of solar panels, was part of Tesla's plan to drive growth in infrastructure building. By solving hard problems internally, Tesla delivers a new type of consumer experience and this directive is also reflected in how a passenger car is architected. Tesla has radically redesigned the electronic architecture under the hood in order to reduce complexity. It splits the overall architecture into four controlled domains autopilot, the central information display, the instrument cluster, and last, drivetrain and energy storage. Configured in this way, the architecture optimizes always on connectivity. It always for it allows for over-the-air software updates like the way you get pushed antivirus updates and new operating systems fixes without needing the driver to head down to a repair shop. It's a product architecture that's geared for data collection, algorithm testing, and interaction with driving infrastructure and with other vehicles. All the while it makes room for future features to be developed and downloaded. In contrast, at most traditional car makers, the electronic architecture reflects their past experience. It's a design that fits the setup of different suppliers. The five historic domains are the powertrain and chassis, driver assistance systems and safety, infotainment, climate and comfort, and connectivity. It's hard to update them. Too many features are hardwired into the physical parts. Now we can see car companies are not battling with car models, they are battling over product architectures. When something goes digital, it often sparks a race between the old and the new standards. Some may argue the German car standard remains the safest in the world. There are advantages of a product architecture based on traditional and traditions and experience. But then, of course, Tesla and other electric vehicle upstarts can and will improve safety over time. And we need to keep in mind that an industry standard is often less determined by technical superiority, but is shaped by a range of factors that gratify immediate consumer needs. After all, multiple inferior standards have become the dominant designs. Sony's Bat Max had a far better picture quality, but VHS won in the market 
because it had a longer recording time. The Google Android operating system has a far bigger installed user base, yet everyone would agree Apple iOS is safer and better protects personal data. So as investors pour money into the new electric vehicle companies, the real questions are, will Tesla architectures and those of the new variants by other electric vehicle upstarts trump the traditional car architecture that has evolved for the past? Which product architecture and industry standard will deliver the most benefits that consumers truly care about? Looking at the valuation by Refinitiv, we can see the market has very strong opinion on both counts. Investors certainly think Tesla and these new Chinese electric vehicle companies pioneering this new model of the car of the future are it. They think there is growing industry convergence in the electric vehicle sector that will one day become the dominant vehicle type on our roads. And it's an opinion. It's an opinion not from that of retail investors like you and I. It's a viewpoint shared by your pension funds and the world's most sophisticated institutional investors like Warren Buffett architecture. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think what Tesla and the other Chinese or current electric vehicle upstarts are doing will be the it will be it or traditional car makers also can build electric vehicles and be very competitive. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicle breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And also please thumb, give us thumbs up, like this video and share in social media. We would certainly greatly appreciate it. Have a great day. God bless you everyone and I'll see you soon in our next report. So in our next report.